Hey guys, Max Avery here with another CS Unboxed, and uh, as you know, I'm a huge Frank Cho fan. I have several DC collectibles slash DC Direct pieces by Frank Cho, and uh, I've been a fan, big fan of his ever since uh, Liberty Meadows, and of course, through his work on in DC and Marvel, and uh, you know, now we are unboxing his DC Bombshell Supergirl. Why am I still talking? Let's go unbox it. All right, let's take a quick look at the box. As you can see, it's still got the DC Collectibles seal of approval there. Now, uh, those of you who follow these things know that the company is now known as DC Direct, which is actually, it's reverted back to its original name. Um, so this one must have made it just under the wire to have the DC Collectibles stamp on it. Um, but as you can see, the cover has got a really nice close up on her face to, you know, kind of show off you know, the, the beauty of the piece. Um, on the side here, you've got uh, the full body and some specs. This is 12.2 uh, inches tall and uh, is designed by Frank Cho and uh, sculpted by John Matthews. Now, uh, and then on the back here, you get uh, a couple other previews of some other uh, Frank Cho bombshells releases. Uh, the Batgirl, which we already unboxed, and the Harley Quinn. And then we've got uh, that right there and the Supergirl symbol right there. All right, and here she is, Kara Zor-El, character uh, first introduced to the page of DC Comics in 1959. Uh, she's, of course, uh, Superman's cousin, his older cousin, actually. But due to suspended animation, she looks a little younger than him. And, uh, yeah, and as you can see, this is, uh, you know, Frank Cho and DC Bombshells at their best. This is uh, a very, you know, kind of cute, sweet portrayal of Kara. Uh, not unlike the Melissa Benoist look on the TV show. Uh, she's got kind of a parochial school uniform here. Um, you get the l little bit of the, of the kink factor there um, with, the, with the skirt rising up. But I mean, like, it's a fairly, you know, tame piece by Frank Cho standards. She's really beautiful. Like this, the face sculpt is just lovely. You know, you can see this beautiful smile and the rosy cheeks and the hair flowing and, um, you know, and, the, and she's got her fingernails are really nicely painted in red there. And, uh, she's got the, the nice yellow belt and the, the symbol. The base is pretty cool too. It's got the, let's see. Carefully, the old school Supergirl symbol there. But uh, yeah, I mean, I think that, uh, you know, this this is, uh, you know, exactly, you know, the, the kind of piece you would want from a Frank Cho statue in this line. Frank is a, is a really great talent, you know, he, uh, you know, he gets his inspiration, you know, not just from cheesecake and pinup art, but also like pre-Raphaelite painting. And, you know, he's, he's a very skilled artist. The rendering here is, is just gorgeous. Like her figure is beautiful. This is a very inspiring piece, actually. I think that, uh, you know, anybody would be delighted to have this on their shelf, especially Superman and Supergirl fans and, you know, fans of the TV show. Um, and of course, fans of Frank. Um, but yeah, so, uh, I would definitely suggest, uh, hitting that, uh, that pre-order link right now.